Hello there. Today we're talking about a significant shift in the world of technology and investment. The tech giant Microsoft has ascended the throne, surpassing Apple to become the world's largest company. This tectonic shift is not just a matter of numbers, it's a reflection of the changing market trends, investor sentiment, and a testament to Microsoft's strategic moves. While Apple's stock has seen a slight decline, Microsoft's has surged, indicating a more favorable outlook from the investment community. This is Magnificent 7 Investing, where we explore the world of finance and investment. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this exciting development. So, what has caused this seismic shift in the tech world? Well, it's a combination of factors, really. Let's start with the tech giant Microsoft. This year, their stock has climbed by 8.6%, a clear indication that investors are looking at them with a favorable eye. But why, what's driving this rise? The answer lies in their strategic investments and product development. Microsoft is heavily invested in the future of artificial intelligence, or AI. They've partnered with OpenAI and are using AI technology in their products like Copilot and in their cloud computing services. This shows a clear vision for the future, one that's resonating with investors. Now let's contrast this with Apple. In the same period, Apple's stock has declined by 2%. Their revenue has fallen for four consecutive quarters, and the demand for their products, including the iconic iPhone, is down. The market seems to believe that Apple lacks the products and strategy to thrive in this emerging AI-driven market. The optimism surrounding Microsoft is palpable. The market is buzzing with excitement about what the future holds for them. On the other hand, there's a sense of apprehension when it comes to Apple's future. This shift in power, this rise of Microsoft over Apple, is unprecedented. Apple had held the title of the largest company in the world since 2011, briefly losing it only to regain it. But this time, the switch seems different. But the question is, can Microsoft maintain its lead? Before we answer that, let's understand a bit about the price-to-earnings ratios of these tech giants. The price-to-earnings ratio, often shortened to P.E. ratio, is a key metric investors use to evaluate a company's stock. In simple terms, it's the price you pay for each dollar of a company's earnings. Now let's talk about Microsoft and Apple. Both of these tech behemoths have high P.E. ratios. This implies that their stocks are expensive relative to their earnings. In other words, investors are willing to pay a premium for each dollar of their earnings, suggesting a degree of overvaluation. Interestingly, Microsoft's P.E. ratio is even higher than Apple's and the broader S&P 500's. This doesn't necessarily mean Microsoft is overpriced, instead it indicates that investors see greater potential in Microsoft's future earnings. They're willing to pay more today for anticipated growth tomorrow. However, it's important to remember that these high expectations come with a risk. If Microsoft fails to deliver on these expectations, its stock price could take a hit. On the flip side, if Microsoft does meet or exceed these expectations, it's likely to maintain its lofty valuation and its position as the world's largest company. While the P.E. ratio provides some insights, the future of these companies depends on their ability to meet market expectations. So, what does the future hold for Microsoft and Apple? As we gaze into the crystal ball of market trends and corporate strategies, a few potential scenarios emerge. Microsoft, having recently surpassed Apple as the world's largest company by market capitalization, owes much of its success to its strategic investment in artificial intelligence. The company's partnership with OpenAI and the incorporation of AI technology into products like Copilot and cloud computing have painted a picture of innovation and forward thinking that investors find appealing. On the other hand, Apple, once the reigning champion, has seen a decline in its stock by 2% this year. This has been attributed to falling revenues over four consecutive quarters and a decrease in demand for its flagship products like the iPhone. Yet the future is not set in stone. The rise in Microsoft's stock is driven by expectations. If it fails to meet these expectations, its stock could drop, potentially allowing Apple to reclaim its title. But if Microsoft continues to deliver on those expectations, it appears poised to maintain its position as the world's largest company. Apple, despite its recent slump, should not be discounted. The company has a history of innovation and has overcome challenges in the past. With the right strategy, it could adapt to the AI-driven market and regain its position. In the end, it's a game of anticipation and adaptation. The market is a fickle beast, influenced by myriad factors both within and outside these tech giants' control. Only time will tell if Microsoft can hold on to its new title. There you have it, 
a snapshot of the current dynamics between Microsoft and Apple. We've seen how Microsoft's strategic investments in AI and partnerships, like the one with OpenAI, have paid off, propelling it to the top of the market. On the other hand, Apple's consistent decline in revenue over the past four quarters and the diminishing demand for its products have contributed to its fall from grace. Yet it's crucial to remember that the market is always in flux, and today's leader could be tomorrow's follower. The rise in Microsoft's stock is driven by expectations. If it fails to meet them, it could see a decline. Similarly, if Apple can pivot and adapt to the changing market, it may very well reclaim its position. Both companies trade at high price-to-earnings ratios, suggesting that they might be overvalued. This is why it's so important to not only look at a company's current position, but also its strategies, market trends, and potential for growth. What are your thoughts on Microsoft's rise? Do you think Apple can reclaim its position? Comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Magnificent 7 Investing for more insightful discussions on finance and investment.